Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Lava Next is a family of open large multimodal models. They have recently released this new model called as Lava One Vision, which is a multimodal model capable of processing images, text, image, text interleaved inputs, and also videos. This model has been trained in multiple stages. Before I tell you about the stages and its key features, let me give a huge shout out to Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. If you are looking to rent a GPU on affordable prices, I will drop the link to their website in video description. Plus, I am also going to give you a coupon code of 50% discount on a range of GPUs. In this video, we are going to install this Lava One Vision locally on our system and then we will use it with images and you can use the same process with text, with videos and image tech interleaved inputs. So as I was saying, there have been two stages in which this has been trained. In the stage one, initial training on 558k samples from the LCS dataset was carried out and then um, afterwards they did a training on 4 million high quality samples with detailed captions, OCR and knowledge data. In the stage two, single image training was done on 3.2 million instruction following image samples. And lastly, training on 1.6 million single image, multi-image and video samples with instructions was carried out. So you can see that the training was quite comprehensive and we will be seeing how the quality of the model is. So this model supports various input resolutions up to more than 2300 to 2300 pixels. It also um, enables you to use a uh, single image input which is represented by 729 tokens at most. It supports multi-image and video inputs. Multi-image input is represented by 729 tokens for each image and video input is represented by 196 tokens for each frame. It comes in three sizes, 0 0.5 billion, 7 billion and 72 billion parameter versions. And of course, they are fit for different memory and inference latency requirement. Now, this also has been trained using a combination of vision specific AdamW and language model learning rates. And each stage, which I mentioned above, has been trained for one epoch. And the reason why it is important to learn these um, features and this background information is that we are not just only playing around with these models. We are trying to learn how these models are actually created, what is the training philosophy behind them, so that if you are creating your own model or you are finding fine tuning your own model, you could garner some of the lessons from them. So that is the whole idea behind it. Now let me take you to my terminal and then we will uh, start installing it. Let me clear the screen here. And by the way, I am using Ubuntu 22.04. Let me quickly show you. So this is my operating system and my GPU card is NVIDIA RTX A6000 with 48 GB of VRAM. Let me clear the screen. I will also be creating a Conda environment to have a virtual environment so that we will keep everything separate from our local system. And as per directions from their GitHub repo, I'm going to go with Python 3.10 and I will activating it. Let's wait for it. Now let's install some of the prerequisites which include uh, PyTorch and then transformers plus some other stuff let me clear the screen and then install some of the prerequisites this is going to take a couple of minutes so let's wait for it and all the prerequisites are done let me clear the screen and then let's git clone the repo and cd into it shouldn't take too long and now let's install all the requirements in the repo. Let's wait for them to get installed. The requirements are done. Let me clear the screen. And then lastly, you would also need to install flash attention because it uses it. And for flash attention, first we need to install packaging and Ninja. And this takes a bit of a time. So let's wait for it. Eventually all the prerequisites are done. I know there are a lot of them, but that is the requirement of the model and I will drop the link to its GitHub repo in video's description. 
Now let me install and run Jupyter Notebook so that we could download and play around with this model in the browser. So let's wait for it to get launched. Notebook is launched. Let's import some of the libraries which we have just installed. These are imported and also it has downloaded a tokenizer for the model. Next up, let's specify the model. We're just going to use this 8 billion one. You can go with 0.5 billion or if you have multi GPU cluster, you can even go with 70 billion. And then we are just putting it on our GPU and then getting the model and tokenizer by mapping the device. So let me run it. And you can see that it has started downloading the model. There seems to be four shards of it. So let's wait for them to get downloaded. The actual model is downloaded and now you can see that it is downloading the vision tower or WIT. That is um, a type of model that is used for um, image classification and it divides the Im images into the patches. And then um, similar to how the world are split into tokens in the NLP tasks. Okay, so that is almost done. So the model is downloaded and now let's do the inference on an image. So for instance, I'm just providing this URL to the image and this, has the, this is the image of a radar sort of thing. And from there it is opening the image, converting it into tensors or numerical representations. And then it is using this template of the model, sending the input tokens to the model, generating the output and then giving us the output. So let me run it. And there you go. So it has very correctly and with a very high quality as described that it's a radar chart also known as spider chart or web chart which is a type of graph used to display multivariate data in the form of a two-dimensional chart of three or more quantitative variables represented on and all that stuff. And then it is telling us about variables and what is depicted on the image. So what we saw just now was the Lava Next model. And now let me show you the Lava 1 vision model which is the newly released one. Same commands, same uh, sort of inference technique where we are importing some of the stuff. You don't need to do it again if you already have done above. Then if you come below here, sorry, let me go up. This is where we are using this 0.5 billion model. And then it's the same radar image. And then we are doing the same inference and then generating the token and printing the results here. So let me run it. And remember, the previous one was 8 billion model. This one is just 0.5. 5 billion model so because it's a very small model so it the size is just under 2 gig as you can see how good is that i mean where we have come in just few months where now vision models have the size of just under 2 gig amazing stuff and then similarly we are downloading the vision tower and there you go so look at the quality of the response of just 0.5 billion model where it has told us what exactly this radar chart is and then how many x's are there and then the labels on them the color coded line that is talking about that green for instruction blip orange for unveil chat and all that stuff so and then it is also uh, guessing about some of the domains or tasks which are could be related to classification clustering or um, some form of data analysis so great stuff really really very impressive model i must say in such a small size and similarly you can also do the inference on local images for example in this example which you can see on your screen what i have done is i have just given it the path to one of the local images on my local system and then i have done an inference on it and it is showing me what is happening in that image if i show you that image one.png this is the image which is just a thumbnail of my previous video Similarly, let's try to see if it can decipher this image. So let's go back to our Jupyter Notebook and I'm just going to give it the path to this. And remember, this is again a very uh, small model. So let's wait for it to come back. There you go. It says the image shows a painting of kangaroo and a bird flying in the sky during sunset. Then the sun is depicted and then it is also uh, saying that it is suggesting that this scene takes place in an open field or savanna. Great stuff. Okay, let's try out um, an OCR one to see how the OCR works. So I believe I have 
and OCR file here. So let's try to do the OCR of this text, which includes some English words, some alphanumeric, some German French stuff. Let's go back. I already have put it OCR here and ran it. So let's see what it does says. There you go. It says Portuguese. No, it's not Portuguese. It is mix of the languages, which that is correct. And then it has it's so it's been able to do some of the OCR, but not much. So I guess for OCR, this model is not suitable. But for other than that, I think it is quite a good model for given its size and stuff. Um, so it can really talk to the images. So that's it guys. I hope that you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. If you're already subscribed, please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thanks for watching.